A rite of passage for many ball screw users is the unfortunate experience of having the ball bearings accidentally fall out of the nut while attempting to install or replace a ball nut onto a screw. To help you avoid this mishap, I'll demonstrate the proper method of installing or replacing a ball nut. There are multiple reasons that make installation or removal of a ball nut necessary. These include new ball screw installation, flipping the orientation of the ball nut, and ball nut replacement at the end of life. Thompson ball nuts are typically provided on an arbor for storage and installation. An arbor is a cardboard, plastic, or metal sleeve that is designed to maintain the ball bearing position when the nut is not assembled to the screw. A transfer arbor typically is hollow to help install the ball nut over any end machining and facilitate assembly. I'll now demonstrate the proper method of installing a ball nut onto a ball screw. First, determine the correct orientation of the mounting interface for installation thread or flange. If the ball nut is provided on an arbor, remove the retaining feature. This is typically a zip tie or tube clamp. If the screw doesn't have a journal, the arbor should be pressed against the center of the end of the screw and held firmly in place. If the screw has a journal, slide the arbor over the journal and press firmly against the center of the screw face. If the arbor will not slide over the journal, it may be necessary to build up the journal diameter to equal the diameter of the transfer arbor. Thompson recommends using masking tape to build up the journal as this provides an easy, soft, non-marking solution. Next, rotate the nut until the ball bearing tracks align and the ball bearings engage the ball thread of the screw. Don't be discouraged if this doesn't happen immediately. Once engaged, spin the nut completely onto the screw and remove the arbor. If you find the need to remove the ball nut from the screw, you can easily do this by transferring it, the nut back to an arbor. To do this, align the journal on top of the arbor and rotate the ball nut back onto the arbor. Once the nut is transferred back to the arbor, you replace the retaining clamp to hold the arbor securely in place.